university, Mahatma Gandhi University, Kakam University, Kaiyushan, and also chief editor in Kamathun Management, Janama Kamathun Management, and KG Janama Post University, and the specialization is beauty and its applications in research. The IAM, IAM, IAS, and teaching experience, 18 years experience. Once again, welcome, welcome you sir. And record for you to take over the success. So, good afternoon, Your Honor. Firstly, we have a question to give you an opportunity to present the Vaibhava Muslim Extraordination of the business submitted by Dr. Under the guidance of Dr. Vem, the other agent, and the present is our Sundara. Actually, it's a very relevant topic, especially the stress of the stress that might probably balance of the employees, especially the non present officers of private university companies. And I think the methodology of training is very important. And whenever the methodology is an object of a type, and the statistical design is very good, and some of the findings are supported by the statistical evidence. So within a time of 30 minutes, we have to present these findings and make the conclusions. And after the presentation, we are asked to uh, make some queries and we have to display the And I invite Mr. Sundaras to present the presentation. Let me thank one and, uh, one and all present here and a very good afternoon. Uh, I have three types of feeling right now. First of all, I am very happy, uh, I am very nervous and finally I am very excited to present this thesis before you. This is my research work before you. So, my title of my study is Psychometric Study on Locus of Control and its Magnitude of Influence on Stress and work-life balance with special reference to non-gesseted officers of Paimatu City Police. Now, let me give you a small uh, outline of my personal study reveals the locus of control and its impact on stress and work-life balance of Paimatu City Police personnel, especially non-gesseted officers. Paimatu City, one of the most hypersensitive or communally sensitive place in Tamil Nadu. You can say the second largest city of Tamil Nadu or fourth biggest in terms of economic power in entire India. The city consists of a population of almost 14.5 lakh people and a handful of 1,642 police deployed over here takes care of the law and order, curbing off of crime, regulating the normal flow of metropolitan traffic becomes a remarkable part in the uh, part of police who play their role very whose uh, role is very important to us police is the only department which plays 24 bar 7 that is all the 7 days a week they have duty and all the 365 days they work now what is locus of control locus of control is a personality trait does not trait, we can define a person in two categories that is internally controlled person or externally controlled person internally controlled persons are those who rely on their own abilities who have capabilities of taking their own decisions and externally controlled may be who rely on others or who depend on others and wait for their decision in other words you can say the person who are active who depend, who believe on themselves are internally controlled persons and the persons who depend on others can be called as externally controlled persons or external locus of control. So stress. Very often we come across this word in our everyday life. Stress. What is stress? We can define as a reaction when somebody is facing 
with a situation and that situation is unavoidable. That's why we feel stress at that situation. Now, this stress is having an influence on one's health as well as on one's job performance. Both are very dangerous. We lose our health and we lose our job performance because of stress. As far as, far as police is concerned, it is an inevitable part of their professional life. They have to, sometimes they are exposed to such situations where they have to apply more of physical and mental abilities to deal with that situations, which may cause a lot of stress to them. Now what life balance? As we say, work, life, balance, by the term itself it is defined that on one hand we have work, that is, the committed responsibilities towards our duty. On the other hand, we have life, all the social obligations, personal life, family, relatives, and all other such personal aspects. Which one is important? We work to live better, and we live better, to live better, we have to work. So both the aspects are important, and success of one's career depends on how he is managing or balancing both the work-life balance. And for police, it is a question mark. Coimbatore mm -hmm. City Police Commissionerate was inaugurated or starting, uh, started on 13, that is 13th of April 1990. And the city is spread over, over its 23.5 kilometers square area, square kilometers, with 14.5 lakh people and only a handful of 1,642 police deployed to regulate and monitor the crimes and law and order of the city. It is controlled by the Commissioner of Police, who is in the rank of Inspector General of Police. He is assisted by four Deputy Commissioners, especially namely uh, Commissioner for Deputy Commissioner for Law and Order, Deputy Commissioner for Crime and Traffic, Deputy Commissioner for uh, Armed Reserve, and Deputy Commissioner uh, for Headquarters. And one additional Deputy Commissioner for Prohibition Enforcement Training. There are 14 Assistant Commandant. Uh, assistant Commissioners to assist and total cell is 1642. Statement of problem, police personnel, especially we need non disciplinary officers over here, are the prime professional who constitute the department, who always play or always responsible for the law and order of the city and state. Anytime, anywhere, they have to report to their duty. The work-life balance, the stress level, is a question mark to them. The person study to identify the cause of stress, its impact on work, and also empirically investigate the locus of control affecting stress and work life balance among the police personnel in the city. Scope The present study reveals the locus of control of police personnel and its level of influence on stress and work life balance. The findings of this study may help the police department in framing up of policies which may lead to control, uh, improve the work life balance and reduce stress in the departmental activities of the police. Objectives uh, to analyze, these are the objectives we have framed for our study. To analyze the socio-economic factors and overall symptoms of stress. To identify the various factors determining locus of control, stress and work-life balance. To find significant relationship between locus of control and stress and locus of control and work-life balance. To identify the level of influence of locus of control on stress as well as on work-life balance. To study the causes, symptoms of stress and work-life balance. To study the relationship between physical, psychological, behavioral, intellectual and departmental causes, uh, symptoms of stress and strategies to cope with the stress. So for this we have framed uh, hypothesis. Uh, there is no significant relationship between socio-economic factors and locus of control. There is no significant relationship between physical, psychological, behavior, intellectual and departmental symptoms of stress and strategies to cope. There is no significant relationship between internal, external, locus of control and symptoms of stress. There is no significant relationship between socio-economic factors and overall symptoms of stress. Uh, there is no significant relationship between socio-economic factors and work-life commitment. There is no significant relationship between locus of control, causes, symptoms of stress and work-life 
commitment. The methodology that we followed is we uh, adopted stratified random sampling as the total population can be clustered because uh, it can be uh, the total entire city is divided into four zones, namely central, south, west, and east, and uh, split it into 15 police stations along with AWPS, that is all women police station. So we find it easier to split the respondents in clusters and we use stratified random sampling. And the sample respondents included inspectors, sub-inspectors, special sub-inspectors, uh, head constable, senior uh, constable or grade 1 constable and police constables. So all the respondents were included, all the categories people were included in our study. A total of 94 respondents from central home from B3, B4, B11 and B50 and AWS police station was collected and from South Zone 240 respondents from B7, B10, B13 and B14 police stations and from East Zone 44 respondents from B5, B6, B9 and AW, AWPS police station was collected and from West Zone 22 respondents from B1, B2, B8, B12 and AW, AWPS police station was collected. So total consists of 400 respondents. So the study is purely based on primary data. So questionnaire was the major tool that was used for collection of primary data. Uh, questionnaire was distributed uh, among the all the 15 police stations within the Kwaibatur Commission Rail. So this is the location of police station in all the four zones. Uh, south, Central, West and East, 15 police stations are come within this limit. To analyze the collected data, these Statistical tool were used, reliability analysis, simple percentage analysis, size square test, weighted average score, factor analysis, multiple regression, and discriminant analysis. Reliability analysis is used to check whether the data is reliable for further studies. Size uh, square test is used to see the relationship between two variables. Factor analysis is nothing but data reduction. We emphasize on uh, the factors which you are more influencing, multiple regression is to check the influence of the respondent and symptoms of stress. So here we see we have taken 30 variables, 30 factors and factors like tension and BP problems, change in sleeping patterns, uh, forgetfulness, job dissatisfaction <coughs> or committed to duty, absenteeism, quality are not significant to internal locus of control and symptoms of stress. So that means internal locus of control is not significant with symptoms of stress as far as these uh, factors are concerned. Respondents with higher education have good work-life balance. It shows that education is also influencing the work-life balance. We can do better if we are good educated. Next we have suggestions. Based on the findings, we have given some suggestions. Departmental suggestions. Male respondents can adopt more strategies to cope with stress. Stress can be uh, added as some regular departmental activity. Frequent training can be uh, conducted to the respondents with lesser experience to make their work-life balance better and to cope with stress, they can be given some training. Female respondents such as night duties or duties in unpreferred areas can be avoided. So that is an important point we have to consider. Department, police department has to consider uh, not a lot of training. Yes. How many different types of people? Seven different types of people. Entire 50 was the stress management of which area? Uh, sir, uh, part of it was uh, related to locus of control or they have... Uh, locus of control of which type of profession? Uh, bank professionals and uh, professionals in... Because what I ask is, locus of control of the police department is entirely different from yes. others. That's why I agree. So this locus of control not the variables which they are using for the bank can those things be applied to police department? Did you make any test? Yes, uh, the statements were being changed according to the related to police department. 